Okay, today is daily cyber number 86. Lots to cover this morning. Uh, I've been studying the heuristic uh, IDS and IPS intrusion prevention or intrusion detection system IDS intrusion prevention system IPS. Uh, just going over here, heuristic, anomaly based, signature based, and behavior based are, are the baselines that have set up that let you in these two systems let let the system mo system monitor what you want and then it'll tell you if there's alerts like so for example heuristic monitor, monitoring uses known best practices and characteristics in order to identify and fix issues with the network so it kind of gives you a historical look at what's going on and then if anything gets out of the norm boom it bounces up and then starts to send off alerts anomaly based uh, monitoring uses database and this is where they, uh, they caught up. I, I didn't find this until I was doing the expertise course, the master's course on the CompTIA, CERT master course on the CompTIA. No one really talked about the database of the anomaly. They talked about capturing uh, anomalous traffic or, or capturing a baseline, and then the anomalous traffic over and above that would uh, alert the system, and then either IDS would send up alarms or IPS would actually close down the ports or shut down the system. And right, so that it wouldn't let the traffic get through. So anomalous based monitoring uses database of unacceptable traffic patterns identified by analyzing traffic flows. Uh, this is normally set up at the start, and then it has that baseline. Anomaly based systems are dynamic and create a performance baseline of acceptable traffic flows during their in implementation process, so the initial setup. Uh, and then it goes dynamic as you start to grow. Uh, and then if something, if your baseline is like 10% of traffic and all of a sudden it goes up to 60%, and then all of a sudden alarms go off. Give me an idea. Uh, signature base. Monitoring use defined, uh, de de defined set of rules provided by software vendor like Checkpoint, uh, to give an example, to identify traffic that is unacceptable. So they have a baseline of what they provide through signature bases like definition bases. And then what happens is from there you kind of you set it up and then it tells you when things are not working alarms. Beha behavior base uh, monitoring detects changes to normal operating data sequences and, and identifies uh, ab abnormal sequences when behavior based systems are installed. They have no performance baseline or acceptable traffic patterns uh, defined. So that's very important to know. Initially, these systems will report all traffic as a threat. So if you don't set this up properly, you don't, if you just kind of let it go by default, all traffic will be a threat, and then it could shut down your system, shut down the ports, you name it. Uh, they learn which traffic is allowed and which is not with the assistance of the administrator. So that's a, a snapshot of what I was covering this morning, uh, making sure I know it a little bit better. Uh, just so I can pass this CompTIA screen plus test. So the other thing I was I was doing I was studying was uh, 2.0 section 2.0 compliance and operation security. So 2.1 is explain the importance of uh, related uh, concepts. 2.4 is given a scenario imp uh, implement uh, basic forensic procedures. I know one thing that was catching me up is just some of the forensics process, because again, I haven't done forensics, so some of the forensic process, processes and procedures, just to make sure I know them inside and out. Uh, to give you an example, collection right, of data. Uh, you collect, analyze, uh, store, present, and then return, I think is the, the flow of kind of the chain of how you're supposed to uh, deal with an incident. I'll give, uh, that's basically the best way to explain it. Is you collect the, da the information, you analyze it, you, pre you store it, then you present it, and then you return it. So give me an idea of the process of when an incident happens. Uh, what else? Chain of custody I already know, things like that. Uh, and then uh, things I got to cover this morning and then this afternoon a little bit more. As uh, 2.4 is summarizing common incident response procedures. 2.6 explain in the important explain the importance of security related awareness and training. Uh, 2.9 give uh, given a scenario select appropriate controls to meet the goals of security. Pretty cool. 
it was actually interesting this morning. I got contacted from a colleague. He might have a referral for me uh, for someone that is looking to get uh, some security assistance, some security help. So and it's along the lines of forensics, which is kind of interesting. I can't talk too much about it because, again, I don't know the situation as well as I haven't got uh, the client's permission and don't know what the scenario is. But just a snapshot of an overview. Uh, again, not really f releasing any confidential information. These are the things that you're going to be dealing with as a cybersecurity consultant. You're going to be dealing with anything from policies and procedures, hardening the system, forensics, social media, websites, application security, uh, network security, uh, social engineering attacks, vulnerabilities, you, mean, you name it. The sky is the limit of what you potentially can deal with as a cybersecurity professional. So. Get excited, learn as much as you can. Uh, I'm excited about what I'm learning. I know a couple days ago, frustrated because I failed that uh, the exam, but mindset's better because this is this is my, my, my dream, my passion. This is what I want to do. So there's going to be bumps in the road. There's going to be things that are going to be frustrating, but just keep going, keep moving forward. And I hope that helps you in what you're doing. You're never going to be perfect. You're never going to be you know, always on 100%. There's always going to be something, there's going to be a bump in the road, especially when it comes to technology. It's not just cut and dry. Majority of the time, there's tweaks, there's things you need to do to make things work. And that could be your studying, that could be your systems, it could be your policies and procedures, it could be whatever. It could be your contracts, it could be the technology. There's things you're going to have to work with because there's so many different variables. So hopefully that helps. I'm um, really excited about what, what's, what I'm learning, what it's, I'm working on, so I'm going to get back at it, and I'll keep you posted how things are going uh, uh, later this afternoon. So I'm on track, uh, finished uh, 2.0 Compliance and Operation Security. So I talked about this morning, I did 2.1, 2.4, uh, I did 2.5, or 2.1, let me just kind of catch up, explain the importance of risk-related concepts, 2.4 was give a scenario implement basic forensic procedures. It was something I need to review. Uh, 2.5 was summarizing common incident response procedures. Flew through that one, it was pretty quick. Uh, 2.6 explained the importance of security related awareness and training. And then 2.9, give a scenario, select it, uh, give a scenario, select the appropriate control to meet the goals of security. So I flew through those ones, which was pretty good. Uh, the last three, 2.5, 2.6, and 2.9. So something to, to really work on. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to work on 3.0 and then just keep just banging away at it. Uh, let me see here. Oh, so what I wanted to show you uh, today, I had a little guest visit. Uh, I'm going to turn off the light here because it's going to be too bright. So you can kind of see me here. I had a little guest visit me today. Uh, we're taking care of my one of my family members' uh, pets uh, while they're away. So you can see her in the background. Right, Abigail? Yeah? Abigail. Whew. Abigail. Yeah, it's a good girl. So, yeah, just uh, taking care of her uh, for the weekend. Uh, and that's really kind of what I'm up for is studying still. That and then I think this weekend I might be at a barbecue, but I'm not sure. But again, hardcore study. I got 14 days. Oh, uh, yeah, about 14 days. No, actually, it's been two. So one day, one day, two. So it's got 12 more days to go. I got to knock that off. Got to get my uh, prep in and make sure I'm ready for the next uh, exam. So that's my goal uh, for the next little bit. Uh, and that's about it. That's what I've been working on. Hopefully this is helping you guys, uh, the one who's been watching this. And, uh, and if you're studying, hopefully you're thinking about this as well as just putting the time in and learning as much as you can. So that's it for my video today. I think it's uh, 6, 620. I can see by the clock. So just don't forget, I'm just going to put it over here. Software is hackable. Being connected is vulnerable. I'll see you next video.